Hey everybody, this is Darren Van Dam, and you are watching Flick Connection, the show that helps you get more out of movies, and today I want to tell you all about Outlaw King. Now this is going to be a spoiler-free review on the Netflix original movie Outlaw King, which just released. I gotta say, uh, I just finished watching it for the first time, and this may very well be the best Netflix original movie that they have released to date. Now, if you're not familiar with the story, again, no spoilers, but just some background on it. Uh, this is about uh, Robert the Bruce. It is a historical drama. It takes place in Scotland and England uh, in the early 1300s, and it's immediately following the events of Braveheart. So if you're a fan of Braveheart, you're going to like this movie. Uh, it is not a sequel, however, historically, it very much is. It is immediately what happens with uh, the Scots fighting for their uh independence after uh, William Wallace, what happened with William Wallace and Braveheart. Uh, so it, it, and William Wallace is referenced in the beginning of the movie, so it very much rides just right, and I'm, I'm talking about days after the events of Braveheart. So that's where we are, and then it is beautifully shot. Now, it's directed by David McKenzie, who most recently did Hell or High Water. That was my favorite movie. I believe of 2016 is when it came out. Uh, really fantastic. Chris Pine was in that as well. He's great in this. Uh, and then before that, McKenzie directed a movie called Starred Up that is about a, a prison. It's a very, very good prison movie. Very, very underrated, but it certainly launched his career. And he, in my opinion is one of the most masculine directors working today in that all of the themes in his movies are, are brutally uh, masculine. The prison movie is no exception. Uh, Hell or High Water definitely had that element to it with some of the characters. And then Outlaw King is one of the most masculine movies I've ever seen. It really is the best descriptive for it. Uh, and it is a beautiful historical drama, though. It's very bloody. It's very brutal. I feel like it's very true to real events. And, and the like I said, I keep using the word beautiful. The landscapes are incredible. A lot of it appears to be like lit with firelight, like candles and campfires, and it just looks amazing. Uh, they did something else that, to me, appears to be very technically advanced, and that is they would transition from like a dark room, because obviously there's no electricity in the early 1300s, uh, but they'd be in like a dark castle or a tent, and they'd go outside into the daylight, or, or vice versa, or both. This is technical nerd stuff, but the camera would adjust its exposure immediately, very fluidly. Uh, if you don't know anything about the way camera works, uh, th they work very much like your eye, where, where your iris opens to allow more light in when you're in the dark, and they tighten up when you're out in the bright sun. Uh, the, the camera has an aperture that opens and closes, and it's difficult to get those transitions without noticing, meaning you're in a dark room, you go out, all of a sudden it gets real bright, and then it tightens up, then, it, then the exposure comes down. Uh, that's usually what you would see, or they would just cut. It'd be two different shots, two different cameras often. This, the camera follows, and it is a really, it, it's perfect for this movie because at this point in history, that's what you would do. You'd be out in the sunlight, and you would go into this very dark room that's maybe lit with a couple of candles, and it just played out so well in this movie. Uh, the opening sequence did this a couple of times, and the opening sequence is about a 10-minute shot, and it is perfect. It, it really serves the story, which is why I think this is one of the, the best directed movies to be a Netflix original. It's possibly the best one yet. I, I would have to watch it more. I do notice, you know, just in a preliminary search, it's got some mixed reviews. It's got like a 50-something percent on Metacritic. I think it's very undeserved. I think it definitely deserves to be much higher. Um, I think there's some political stuff with that, not just like politics, but uh, Netflix is really taking a lot of heat from the establishment cinematic community. I don't know how else to say it, uh, because they're releasing these movies and they're not releasing them in theaters. Uh, they're really bucking the system and the system is, is bucking back. So I think that's why you're seeing mixed reviews. Also, the, 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 I could see where some people are not going to like this movie. I mean, it is bloody. It, it almost glorifies violence at times. However, historically, we as human beings used to be 
very brutal compared to the way we are now in most parts of the world. And, and 1306 or 1303 was no exception. Uh, again, I, I really like this one. It's at a tight two hours. It feels kind of long because so much happens, uh, but that's not a, not a gripe at all. Um, you know, I would say definitely watch it. I think most people will enjoy and should watch this movie. However, it's obviously not a feel-good movie. Uh, while it is entertaining, it's not, um, it's not necessarily enjoyable to watch because some of the stuff is so uh, brutal and just the way the Scots were treated by the English was so kind of just upsetting in this movie. It's not going to ruin your day, but maybe watch it when you're, when you're not in the mood to just watch a popcorn movie because it is not that. But in the vein of Braveheart, it's a very good historical drama. Uh, I, I thought it was really, really well executed again. Just one of the most beautiful movies I've seen for a Netflix original. Game of Thrones fans are going to like this one. Um, you know, I, I definitely check it out if you have seen it and you're just kind of wanting to hear my thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what your thoughts were on this movie. But I'll keep making reviews on these Netflix originals as long as you keep watching them. But thanks for checking this one out, and you will see me on the next one.